Now that was Shane Mumford, so this is a really good battle. As we get this one underway, Goldstein went early. Smith are really right. He's been a great inclusion this side of Dangerfield. So two of the new faces for the Cats combined at the cell. We well, have been good at stopping opposition ball movement this year, so it's a fascinating battle tonight. It's got a great example there of how players now just guard space. See that Jack Zubel, he wants to own the corridor. Daniel Wells behind him and Swallow. And so it takes a bit of courage to try and pierce through the corridor. He just got away. You don't see him get on the end of it, but he worked away from that Locked stoppage. Long Ran Duncan Hart. Great play by Gibson. Bursting out of the centre. Danger field. Long direct ball. Good hands. Look out of that, Harry. Yeah, might have been a hip to the thigh. Kept Jeremy Cameron to just one mark and no goals last week, Harry Taylor. What a player he's been. True age recruit from Western Australia. Could not have fitted any better to this superstar side. They combined the two champs. Waxing Selwood back to Dangerfield. Takes on Petrie. He's got a man in the pocket. Man shoveled it out to Goldstein. He banged off a couple. In went Selwood. Now a disputed ball to be one in the middle. Dangerfield down hard and low. No, you know what? I'm going to change that to knee, BT. I'm seeing where that ice pack is going, but he's a bit in a bit of discomfort. Lead. He might head in that direction. Going to have to contend with a couple. Dangerfield doing some strong aerial stuff. Also winning it at ground level as well. Now a succession of handballs. They did well. Got it back to danger. That sort of indecision. It just invites its own trouble and poor turnover by the Cats. Yeah, Zach Smith was decisive there to sell. But now Dangerfield. Aren't they uh, in good touch early? Long ball down to Mansell. Got his body. Harvey in amongst it here. Here he is again, the man we speak of. Just reefs it out and goes long and direct. And Dangerfield, sensational grab right on 50. Now not beyond him in full flight, but unselfishly to Lang. And Lang able to hang. Here it is again. Floats across the front. That's a contested mark. He can do everything, Paddy Dangerfield. So Darcy Lang. Little clip on the ear there, too. Yeah, copped it all. And Dangerfield and Selwood. They've had 17 of Geelong's 64 disposals, but Dangerfield's putting together a, a massive. To Stanley, off hands. Dangerfield's always holding Dangerfield. a chance. And that's what happens. He draws three kicks. Holding, holding. go through. He can't believe it's no. Only because he doesn't realise it happened about three seconds and kicked through it. So really taking his time, sucking in the air, Paddy Dangerfield. No problems at all, distance-wise. And again, he's just really leaning back on them at the moment. Didn't give it a chance at all. Yeah, but the umpires didn't fall for it, BT. That was good. Yeah, good umpiring. And now Selwood, he wants to get it to Dangerfield, back to Selwood. Well, when you combine with each other, typical, I think. So we'll get that replay shortly. The trainers got their hands up. In the meantime, it's the Cats who are really trying to slice their way through. Well okay, as we move into the last minute and a half here, it's Geelong on the charge once again. Long ball in. Caddy's at the back here. Bartell in the meat and the sandwich. Dangerfield brushes off. Mullet then goes for goal himself. The brute force of Dangerfield. Well, you ask the question. Let me, let me explain it, then you can agree or disagree. The instruction is, if it's a stretcher, we stop play if there's an immediate day. Dangerfield, 15 disposals and a goal in the first quarter. He's right out of control. And on cue, there he is again with the first touch of the second quarter. Blitzars goes back to Smith. He hears the voice of Selwood. Wells applied some pressure. They've combined a couple of times. Dangerfield and Selwood, again, brilliant play. They weave their way. Police kick into the forward line, a terrific finish by Daniel Menzel. Dangerfield again, extracts the footy out of the middle. Speed and your agility hasn't lost it. None of it is an issue at all for him. Last eight goals have been goal for goal. Dangerfield with yet another combination with Selwood out of the middle. McMillan. Out wide to Goldstein. Dangerfield getting on the end and he'll run away from the big fella. Had a little bit of a fumble. It's, it's unbelievable, Lingy. They're just everywhere at the moment. Or even the Splash Brothers at the Warriors. In there. Andrew Swallow has got the full track suit on now. I reckon that might be him done for the night. As you guys said, the doctors won't. Three after half time last week. Four to start the first half this week. So seven in his last four quarters. Dangerfield. He's just given it to me. I'll do the rest. Storms it to the edge of 50. Going back. So we would almost expect him to be able to get back out there shortly. There's a kick to the edge of 50. Dangerfield. He's at 21. Kicked the goal. Now 22. In front, out the back, Dangerfield. Up comes White. Slipped over. Just to be 
because he, he's only had one touch this quarter. He just can't get to the contest. Look at him. Yeah, he's danger field with yet another one. Possession number two. And right, steals it. Handballs. He knew he had to keep it moving. Here's Kirsten. Little chiseler mock off, but he can come over the head of Mason Wood. Sill, it's had his own foot in the first half. Wanted to find his partner in crime. Danger for look at him, body line, the footy danger. Another big contested footy win. Short one from Kirsten's contest. This it means so much. Del Santo could have seen him starting in there. Oh, Sill would take it high. Player. Quick movement out to Dangerfield. They've combined on a number of occasions tonight. Menzel will test the ankle out. Be happy with that. First time, gentlemen, Jim's kicked multiple goals in a game since the 2014 final series. You'd expect a bit of body Preston capitalising there with the second of their second half goals. His eighth clearance foul in the middle to Dangerfield, who's having a splendid game. The game, and it's quick and it's clean as well. North Melbourne are normally really good at it. Here we go again. Look at this. Dangerfield has been extraordinary out of the middle of the ground. It's the handball out the back door. Good play by him, and now Dangerfield again. Possession number 31 into the middle. They've opened them up again here. Duncan can go. Short ball, Kirsten on the lead. It's an avalanche at the moment here. The Cats are just pouring on the heat. Look at Selwood back to Dangerfield. He's on world record. Plays Dangerfield and just maybe limit his influence a little bit. Like those numbers right there, you'd be happy with them at the end of the game. Let alone you'd be happy towards halfway through the third quarter. You'd be happy with that. Nahas must mark it, didn't mark it. Ball hits it out. Ruggles, beautiful little knockout. Sets Dangerfield to lose the game. And here come the Cats. Dangerfield's at 33. 34 make it after that one. This will be 35. <laughs> I'm, I'm predicting 50 for it. And that's not outrageous, is it? That's just extraordinary. And he has been a big factor in this game again, Harry Taylor. Lingy, where's Harry out with his form? It's just about back to its best, I reckon. Yeah, I'd agree with you, Richo. Dangerfield getting on the end of another one here in front of me. Great body use. I'm with you. I think he's, last year was his quietest year for a while, but this year he's back to work. Gee, great pickup off his toes by Henderson. How good was that from Henderson, the big man getting down there? There's Dangerfield, really good jokes. But for some reason, Das, 14 of the 21 goals have been scored down at that end tonight. Can't argue with the numbers, Richo. No. It says 19 of those contested, nine inside 50s and a goal. And how about this, 155 champion data ranking points to three-quarter time. His season average for a whole game is 124.6 the number one player in the competition averages more than any other player he's currently beating that by 30 and it's only three quarter time it's here third position on the ladder is on offer if they can get over the top of the top team north melbourne tonight here's dangerfield possession 39 21 here big crowding tonight 44,000, just over 44,000. biggest crowd between these two mobs at this stadium since 2007 dangerfield and Falcons. he went to werribee then back to the gfl to leopold then the geelong vfl as you said came off the rookie list to be out here playing to the lovely team dangerfield to duncan to motlop open them up through the middle motlop driving ball wants someone to come dangerfield got down there in a flash he was involved in the start of it. And somehow, at the same, sport, the same speed as the ball was travelling, he got forward of it, Richo. Yeah, he did. That was magnificent running by him. It was a great bit of play by Stevie Motlock. That was a slicing kick inside 50. It wasn't meant for Patrick Dangerfield. It was going to hit, I think it was McCarthy on the chest. Have a look at him trying to suck the big ones in here. He had to beat the ball down there. And he did it after he started it. Dangerfield takes his time. True professional. Kicks the goal. Geelong by 28 points now. And that's a very good... Look at this. He starts it at halfback. Chisels the handball. Now he peels off. He's got to beat Motlop, who's going a little bit crab-like. But it gave him time to get there. That is extraordinary running. That's unbelievable. It's gut run. He's a superstar. He does it all. He does it all in his game. He wins clearances, he kicks goals, he wins the hard ball, he runs hard, he can mark it. He does absolutely everything. Zeebel, Zeebel played it really well, forced him into an error. Dangerfield looking for disposal number 43, he'll get it, he'll explode away. Now with the left foot, tumbler to the goal, square sliding in. 
Taylor and numbers queuing up here for the Cats. Lang. Dangerfield, the fend off and the nice little kick. And he says to Joel, so we'll just take it easy from here. A lot of milestone games coming up in the near future, guys. Jimmy Bartell playing game 295 tonight. Five games away from being Geelong's fourth player. Four and five on one. Yet McDonald still able to muster a win up out of that for the Kangaroos. Forward line, start of the week. First half the forward line wasn't really clicking, but they really got going in the second half. And big round of applause for this man right here. He's been the star of the show. For North Melbourne, I think just not enough numbers through the middle of the ground with Swallow going early. Losing Cunnington. Does at times if you miss a game, you can just lose your momentum a little bit, and maybe that's happened for Todd. I reckon he's a bit sore as well. Siren sounds. Geelong to third position on the ladder.